uh, John, well, we are here for the launch of the European Rugby, which means um, Harlequins are back at the top table. How excited are you for the new campaign and how great it is to have the club back there? That's a great thing to hear. It's fantastic, yeah. It's everything that we were trying to achieve last year. Uh, obviously, would like to win competitions as well, but to be back in the Champions Cup, it's the one to win, and uh, you've got to be in it to win it, as they say. So, yeah, fantastic. Can't wait for it to get going. What is it that makes the Champions Cup so special? Well, I mean, the Champions Cup, well, but it's, 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 there's a lot of different things that make it. It's the cross-border competition, and it's knowing that you're in with Europe's elite as opposed to England's elite. It's that step further, you know. It's like the Champions League in football, isn't it? And to test yourself against different opposition uh, is a fantastic thing, and spreading our wings around the whole of Europe, um, brilliant. And, you know, to a degree, knockout, and yet it's not quite sudden death at the start. Uh, the whole concept of it, the whole way that it's set up, just makes for really riveting uh, viewing, doesn't it? The old sort of traditional knowledge dictates that you, you want to make a fast start to, to give yourself the best chance. La Rochelle, is then new to this competition, but how much do you guys know about them and, and how important is it to, 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 to win your home game? Well, come a couple of weeks' time when we play them, we'll, uh, we'll know everything about them, but we're obviously starting to look already at what they're about. <laughs> You know, they, they had a fantastic season in France last year, so and they've started the season pretty well again. They're a big, strong side, we know that. Um, and every time you play French opposition, you know you're going to get a competitive game, so it wouldn't matter who you're playing. But we're at home, uh, at the Stoop, and we've got to make home advantage count. You'll hear that a few times today. Um, so to start at home, you can't ask for more than that, really. Um, wasps. Obviously, fantastic results a couple of weeks ago out here, then you'll be back here. Does that give you some confidence coming back, or is it a different competition? Different competition. Uh, I think given the attritional uh, levels that were in that game, it'll be an interesting match again, won't it? Um, but two sides who respect each other hugely. Uh, we went at it hammer and tong, as you said, a week or two ago. We managed to win, and uh, obviously, yeah, to a degree, we know we can win up here now, having achieved it, but we know it will be an almighty tussle, as all of these games will be. What did you do so well to modify a side like this for the four defences that moment? Well, defended well. Um, and attacked pretty well when we had the opportunities as well. But, you know, maybe the focus was, was right there, knowing the issues that would be there if you didn't get things right. But um, on the day, our players stepped up. We've got some excellent players as well. And on the day, they stepped up and uh, performed mightily well. And, you know, even then, it was so close. It went right to the end. And, um, you know, we know Wasps will be a huge nut to crack up here again in a few weeks' time. Uh, and then Ulster, obviously, they are... Uh, one of European sort of traditional powerhouses, the King's fan as well as a fantastic player. What have you guys spoken about? I've not spoken about it yet, but well I think first and foremost again you've got Irish opposition which is brilliant we've got fond, got memories of them fond memories of beating them at the stoop less fond memories although we got out of the group I think in the end when we had that incredible um, uh, storm wind um, when we played at Ravenhill last time many seven eight years ago now I suppose it was but they've got a great European tradition and we know they're a good side they've started uh, their domestic league really well and uh, yeah when we get to it back to back in December against them they're going to be almighty tussles. It's a, it's a really, really competitive group. I know everybody's going to say that. But I think, respectfully, the minute we were put in as fourth seeds, we were always going to get tough opposition, but I'm not sure too many people wanted us in their group. So, you know, we're looking forward to it and can't wait to get going. And just from a personal point of view, how excited are you to sort of fit your work and where's it going on the, as we kind of touched on the, the top level? Yeah, fantastic. You know, I mean, obviously been involved in it um, previous years at certain times, but director of rugby now here and really looking forward to that. Uh, it seems a long time. I think it was cast the last game we played when we had a big win, but found ourselves coming off with the Wasps Leinster game. Um, the result going uh, annoyingly, hideously to a level that stopped us getting through. Um, it seems a long time ago now and we've all been waiting for that at Harlequins right through the club. Uh, everybody's excited about it and you know it takes such an effort to get into the Champions Cup, let alone win it. Um, we've got to enjoy it, uh, but we're there to have a right go.